certainly a good thing for folks out to the west, but it could mean something a little different for folks in the plains. So right now we are looking still at that fire weather outlook, but we'll be actually talking about that powerful storm system that's going to slide into the central plains by Friday, impacting areas that have been hit by storms the last few weeks. So large dip in the jet stream. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to promote some rising air, all thanks to where that positioning of that jet is located. That strong area of low pressure is going to develop near the Rockies and then you have that dry line and what's taking place as that dry line continues to make its way to the east. We are going to have that Gulf of Moisture being brought up to the north and that's going to be kind of contrasting with that dry air on that backside. Here's that associated cold front with this area low and then in the warm sector of this of this uh, system we could see some storms develop as well. So plenty of energy for storm development but this is really the zone where we're most concerned with those storms to really kind of be more robust and really pack more of a punch from Texas through Oklahoma, Kansas into Nebraska, even the even into Iowa and South Dakota, Illinois, Indiana, the Missouri, these locations are watching really, really closely because these storms will fire right along the dry line tomorrow afternoon and evening. Fortunately, it's going to be right in time for folks to be maybe heading off or heading home from work and then maybe have some plans out in the town, but watch very closely. Keep your eye to the sky. Make sure you're staying tuned in with us here at Fox Weather because we have a level three out of five risk for folks in the darker shade of maroon. So North Platte through Hayes, Guymon, Amarillo, even just to the north of Lubbock, but elsewhere. I mean, this is just a broad reaching storm system making its way all the way into the upper Midwest. And it's not just tomorrow that we're concerned with. It's Saturday as well. So San Angelo, Abilene, Wichita Falls, right along the Red River, through Oklahoma City, all the way up to Duluth this time, the arrowhead of Minnesota under that potential to see some strong to severe storms. And I want to make sure you have multiple ways to receive those severe weather alerts. What's so fantastic about our Fox weather app is that you can actually put in different locations. Maybe you have some friends, some families that live in some other locations and you want to be staying tuned in to their weather. You can do that. My folks live in Kansas City, so I certainly have their location in my app. So I know every time a severe thunderstorm warning or even potentially maybe a tornado warning is issued for their location and I can give them a call and let them know what's on the way for Kansas City. The next five days, thunderstorms in the forecast tonight through tomorrow on into Saturday scattered in nature, but heading into Sunday, much better conditions are on the way. We drop down into the 60s, partly cloudy skies, low 60s by Monday, but hanging right around the, the low to mid 60s on Tuesday. But hey, it's much quieter and we'll have some sunshine on the way next week. Steve. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.